Oh no! Okay, so I forgot to press record the first time. <laughs> Inside the Instant Pot, I have loaded in one cup of arboreal rice. Nope, arboreal rice. One quarter cup, uh, or sorry, <laughs> one quarter teaspoon of salt. One and a half cups of water in the measure that is provided by the Instant Pot. So, now I am setting it to cook for three minutes according to the recipe I found. So, now it's flashing for me to change the time. I will, actually I'm gonna cancel that and I'm gonna go back to the way it was. So I've dialed until pressure cook is blinking. Not rice, but pressure cook. And then I've hit the button. And then I've hit the button because it's blinking around the time, indicating that I want to change what's blinking. And oop. two, three. I want three minutes. And uh, no delay. Keep warm may as well be on. And I'm going to set that. And I'm going to start it. And later when I make the chili, I'll show you how to check the valves and everything and make sure that they're operating because really they're the only thing that could really ruin your day. Just moving the tripod. Or not. All right, so here it's warming up to cooking heat. And I'm gonna be making a series of these Instant Pot videos um, for anybody who wants to watch them, and for my mom, she's getting an Instant Pot, Instant Pot, and sometimes she needs to see it close up and practically. I'm not going to try and skip over any steps, so I'll just skip over what's happening. <coughs> Isn't height? Or excuse me, or something. Well, while this is um, going, I guess I'll start the next ingredients, which is uh, two cups of whole milk divided, one and a half cup, or sorry, one half cup of sugar, half a cup of sugar, um, two eggs, and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I am skipping the raisins. I'll put the... Uh, the recipe down in the description. That's right, I'm gonna need a sifter. salt away so I don't accidentally use it again. The rice away so I, I don't need that. Ah! Uh. 
here's a fun tip. You can actually, uh, actually substitute part of the, uh, the whole milk for some coffee cream. So, is it half and half, 10%? I don't know about you, but when I go to all the trouble of making rice pudding for myself, I really want to enjoy it. Okay, I can start hearing little steamy noises coming from the cooker. There's the little doohickey climbing now. It's still in the preheating zone, but it's almost to boiling. And then when it's actually cooking, a timer will appear here counting down. So right now it's just still getting into the mood. These two little critters are going into the pressure pot. There's the sugar. There's the milk slash cream mix. All right, it is actually beginning to cook the rice now. So the timer's on. In another mixer, well it counts down, I'm mixing uh, half, the half cup of uh, remaining milk, because it takes two cups in total, half cup of remaining milk in here, then I'm going to add two eggs and the vanilla and I'm going to whisk it all together. Keeping our eggshells for putting in our uh, tomato beds in the spring. Our soil has a calcium deficiency, so the eggshells have plenty of calcium. Yeah, I know it's weird to just be watching this with nothing much going on. lazy and just use the cap of the vanilla bottle to measure with. Shh, it's Teresa's vanilla, don't tell her. Okay. Now, and then when I do end up mixing this into the pot, Drain it through that so I don't get any of the uh, 
particularly proteinous bits from the egg yolk or white or whatever it is. You know that little white thing. Okay, Mr. E, you're not supposed to be on the counter. Excuse me. Oh, can't try. Very heavy cat. Alright. So, now we'll wait until it finishes its uh, cycle. Okay, it's done. Here's the pudding. Do you want some? Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, guess you just have to make your own. <laughs> okay, so it's been uh, waiting 10 minutes now. I've turned it off and on again to try and figure out what the heck a natural pressure release is, but um, I'm just going to do the, uh, the vent on top here to bring you with me. At a safe distance. There. So there wasn't much pressure left. It had actually started to vent naturally. And uh, now I'll just. So that's in the right position. That's right, you're taller now. Okay, now I'm going to open it. Move the lid, and apparently there was some suction. <laughs> okay, and we have really nicely cooked rice. Call me shocked. I'm always shocked when a when a recipe seems to be working. Don't worry, I'll find a way to screw it up. Add the sugar. And the one and a half cups milk and cream in here. And then uh, I'll use the rice paddle to combine as a stir to combine. It's a little hot, but it's not. I've done stupider things with pots than this. My version of stir to combine is stir until it doesn't sound gritty anymore. Until all the sugar has been incorporated. Right. Now, let's see. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, take my sieve here. This is the egg and the vanilla and the other half cup of milk. Sit it through. Okay, and the uh, the strainer. In case you think of missing that step, it did catch a lot of stuff that I really do not want to run into. In my uh, in my rice pudding. So. All right, so like that. Get stuff out of the way. Ooh, there's a jelly bit. Sautés. So sautés down here. So I just got to keep going until the little flashing light is where I want it. There we go. Sauté. And I'm just going to start it up. Which I forgot. I have to use the start button. <laughs> Now it's heating up right there, and I have to stir this constantly until it boils. I'm going to bring you guys closer. 
closer because I'm lonely. I know I'm not actually expecting you guys to answer me, but I'm sorry while I adjust this. Not so much of rice, but I'm sure that if I look really hard, I can find some in there. who listed this um, was uh, Barbara Sheaving. I before E if it sounds like me, E before I if it sounds like I. Yeah, Barbara Sheaving. <laughs> and it was on the pressurecookingtoday.com, the best pressure cooker rice pudding. I can feel heat now coming off the um, off the uh, liquid. So How was your day? My day's been kind of weird so far. Apparently, I'm encouraged to remind you that this is going to thicken as it cools. So what I'm after now is I'm after bringing it to the boil and then I'm going to turn it off. has not yet been invented and if it was they'd still get it wrong. Anyway, so I have a container in mind to put this in so that I can then um, empty this out, let it kind of cool and thicken, and then I'm just gonna get on to the chili recipe. And I know some people don't put beans in their chili, but you know what, after this point, fine, you want to be a chili snob, don't watch the channel. I put beans in chili. I put black beans and kidney beans. They're excellent protein supplements. They're starch. They're fiber. They're everywhere you want to be. All right, it's really, I can feel it thickening up. It's the egg at work. Um, that's another reason you want to stir it constantly because you don't want to have like a scrambled egg effect with chunks of things in here. That's also why you whisk the eggs, egg together with the, um, or eggs together with the, um, with the milk. Get some space between them protein molecules. Protein strands. Protein strands. All right. Yep. Yeah, there's there's heat coming out of here. I don't know if you can see it. Are you getting steamy? You're not getting. Well, you're not getting that steamy. Right. 
Today was one of those peculiar weather days in Manitoba. Um, I left the house to go have uh, lunch with some people I know, and uh, which was a lot of fun. There were many laughs. I, I interrupted far too often. And um, okay, it's boiling, and we are done. Okay, now let me just get my mittens of burn tolerance. I really need to get myself some new mittens of burn tolerance. And up, up, and away! Alright, so... I have a cord attached to you here. This is what has come of our patience. So even hot, it's still kind of, um, it still has a good consistency for rice pudding. And um, yeah, I'm just going to tuck it into a ah, hot, no. I'm going to tuck it into a, um, a glass container so it can slowly get itself down to a normal temperature. And uh, then I can put a squirt of spray cream on it, and then I can eat it. Maybe with some cinnamon. If I actually do that, I'll take a photo and let you know, or keep it to myself. All right. This concludes this installment of rice pudding. Instant pot rice pudding.